Have you ever used your credit card to buy something online? I bet most of you have at least once. Have you ever thought about how secure the internet is, especially when you're sending sensitive information through it? Well, let's face it, there's a whole lot of information like social security numbers, account information, sensitive company information, personal details that we don't want other people to see. This is where encryption comes in handy. It's the most popular form of managing internet information security. Information that has to be sent over the internet is first encoded in such a way that only the receiver can decode it. Let's see how it works. There are two types of encryption, symmetric key and public key. In symmetric key systems, the sender and the receiver share a common key to encrypt and decrypt the message. As an example, say the key is the number 5, a simple encryption strategy would substitute each letter with one 5 away from it. So A becomes F, B becomes G, and so on. Cut. Both the sender and the receiver have to know the value of the key in order for the message to be understood by the receiver. Anybody else who sees the message will see only nonsense. However, there's a problem. If the key is sent through the network, anybody who gets hold of the key can decode the message. Now that's going to be a big problem. Is there a better way? Well, let's see how public key encryption works. It uses two keys, a public key to encrypt a message and a private key to decrypt it. One of the important aspects of this technique is that the receiver of the encoded message controls the keys. The private key is known only to the receiver. When a connection with the sender is created, the receiver encrypts a key using its private key. The result is a public key that is given to the sender. The sender uses that public key to encrypt the message, but decrypting the message requires the original, unencrypted public key. Therefore, to decode an encrypted message, the receiver must